hey guys welcome to this video so it's been a while but i decided for my welcome back video i wanted to do a like a create a notebook with me and i'm gonna walk you guys through the steps of creating your own digital notebook so let's get right to that so i had to turn off my ac so i'm gonna see how long i actually last and i have 28 percent battery life so we're gonna make this work um, let me know down in the comments what other types of videos you guys would like to see and then I can start working on that. I will be more consistent this time around. <laughs> so we're gonna use Keynotes. So this is my Keynotes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new presentation and then we're just gonna start an outline. Actually no, we're gonna choose a theme and then we're gonna have basic white. And then what we do with the first one is just delete everything that's on here because we don't need none of that. So just tap it, you'll get this to pop up and then just press delete. And then of course we want a cover page first and then we want our note pages. So we're gonna add here in the plus sign, scroll to the bottom and then click blank. So the first one is our cover page and then our second one would be our note page. And of course, if you want the ending, um, we'll add one more blank and this would be our like the back of a notebook so for our cover page um, we're gonna start with you hit the plus sign and then we're gonna add actually a border color so we're just gonna hit the, the paintbrush a background not a border color sorry a background a background and then we're gonna choose the background that we want um, I want it pastel I want it lighter so I want it pink and lighterish. We're just gonna go with that. Um, and then we might have to duplicate that and delete this one because we do want it to be the same. So we'll just delete the slide and then duplicate this when we're done. Now we wanna add the plus. We're gonna add, click here for shapes and we're gonna use the square. I'm trying to think if I want it like in the center. This is just kind of like on the wing type of video. I didn't plan this out or anything, but I needed a new notebook to use. So um, we're gonna center it. But we want a notebook type shape and you're longer. So this seems like good enough. So when you make your shape how you want it, if you press and drag you'll see those yellow lines if you don't see those yellow lines you can click these three dots over here you will scroll down and click guides and then just have them all pressed it will help you out to make sure that everything's more centered um, so once everything's selected you just continue here and then just move it around until you get the yellow and the yellow on both sides that means it's right in the actual center now do we want this squared or kind of like rounded edges so i'm going to click the paintbrush and this is what i haven't done in a while i don't think actually yeah we used the wrong one we want this one so we're going to delete this and instead of the square we're going to go for the next one over i don't know what shape this is but again we're gonna make this the size that we want Actually, we want a little bit less because if we duplicate this, yeah, that's actually enough. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So this is good. We will center it. And then you see this green here? This will allow to make like the rounded edges more rounded or squared i guess you know and just drag them over you know of course this is not a notebook this kind of is but we're just gonna make it like there is what i want um now we click it press the paintbrush um style and then here we choose the color that we want i don't really know what color but you can click fill and then just kind of select the color that you want I'm just gonna leave it pink we're gonna go with that and then 
sorry I'm trying to think of like how I want it so the plus we're gonna take this straight line and this will be kind of like you know how a notebook has I don't know what this is called on the notebook like the middle part <laughs> where you fold you know yeah that so we have the line we're gonna click the paintbrush I want it increase the width a little bit kind of bold and then I do want the color to be black you know we want this style color it is black okay it looks gray because I don't have the iPad like lifted up but this reset so when you get to a point that you can't control the lines because they automatically start setting themselves you can just turn off the guides and go from there uh, so we're gonna have to do that so document no guides we're just gonna turn them all off tap and then just this is not perfect but this is just the base to kind of guide you and I'm just kind of like speeding through it I'm sorry if you hear the beeping it's my washer um, so we want the plus sign again we want this and I want this to be like in the center oh, I don't have my guides I want my guides back there seems good we're gonna change the color and I want a white so we'll type fill kind of like a grayish and this is where you kind of type like your name and stuff like that so what we do now is we'll tap here tap um, left side presentation duplicate drag this down because this is gonna be the end it's not letting me move it but if you click where was it um, you have to sorry press and hold and then just drag how you want it so this is the ending now of course when you get to the end it's on the other way so we're just gonna move this over and we're gonna yeah that's good and then we're gonna delete this and that's it now our sorry we're gonna go back here we're gonna click this and just copy it because this is our page so we're going back to number two we're gonna tap paste and this is this is the notebook size and the pages will be a little bit smaller and then I just want to duplicate that so we're gonna paste again And then you just kind of decide like how far to the edge you want it and that seems good um, do you see like the little break the little break right there that's the center of it so we're gonna insert a page now Uh, do I want yeah we're just gonna go with that so this is good enough and then you just tap copy um, I'm trying to think maybe not I think you could do this just extend it out right and then you're gonna tap it go to the paintbrush make it white because your page is white now we want one more, so we're gonna copy this, tap here, paste, and what we want is we want shadows. And you just kind of select the shadow that you kind of want, and this is just kind of imitating like, imitating a page. And I want guides off. 
so I want it as close to the edge as possible. This is more for just aesthetics. You kind of just move to the edge. And I want to change the type of shadow that I have. I think this one's good. And that's it. Um, we're going to tap this. We're going to just play around with all the shadows, not that one. I want one that has all four corners. Okay, so the first one. Um, and that's just copying it out like there's multiple phases. You can do this several times if you want. We're going to hit the plus sign and we're going to hit the line because now we want, I think it's called the ridge, right? Like the center of it. And you want this and you want guides back because we want this right in the center. Right there. I'm just going to zoom in. And when that happens, you just click on do over here. And that's it. So what we want is we want to click this, the paintbrush. I want it a little bit bold. That seems good, but then now we want shadows on it. Actually, we might want to delete the width of it a little bit. And just click the shadow that you kind of like. This one seems good. And here we have it. So now you decide if you want it lined or dotted. Now for this, you're going to go into the internet and you're going to search for a blank image. So you open up and then we're just going to search um, lined page image. And you go to images and you kind of just search which one it is you like the best. So this one. Hmm. I think I do like this one. So we're going to click this. You're going to copy. You're going to go back to Keynotes. You're going to tap. And you're going to paste. And then here. Sorry, I'm like, I can't see it. All right. If you double tap it, you kind of control like the size of how much image you want. So we're just going to... We're gonna get out of that. Don't double tap it yet. So we're gonna use this and we're just gonna line it where we want, which I think I wanna zoom that a little bit. So we're gonna double tap. We're gonna zoom in, but we wanna crop a little bit. And I can't see the left side. You press done and then when you look at it nope sorry when you look at it this is how it is um and then now this is just like preference you see like it starts at a line there but i kind of want the lines a little bigger so i'm going to double tap it and then we're just going to use this and scroll zoom in a little bit more how wide you want your lines i think this is good right here Um, and then what you see now is you don't really want to start with one line up here because that's not how a notebook starts. So you want to drag this down there, but I would like a line here at the bottom. Okay. And press done. And there you go. Now, just looking at it some more, inspectioning it, I kind of wanted to go all the way to the end. So we're gonna double tap, and then just drag, actually, hmm, do we just drag? No, it doesn't fit. So we're just gonna drag right until that line. 
and press done. So you see how it's overlapping? We're gonna click it. I think I moved it a little bit. Yeah, click it, go um, to paintbrush, arrange, and we were just gonna move this until it's under the line. And there you go. And then we're just gonna tap, copy, tap, paste, and just move it over to this side. And then you just make sure that it is even with, like the lines are even, which it is. We'll just tap it again, arrange should be ready selected, and then just move this over. And then there you go. This is your notebook. I like it. Now, of course, this is like without the ones that are already preset with your date and stuff. This is just a blank notebook that I want to use. So from here, if you wanted to use a dotted line, you would do the same thing, but you would just search dotted line. And if not, you could just have the blank. And then I will just duplicate myself here. Duplicate. So you'll tap two and you'll tap duplicate. Or you press up here and then press light table. Brings you to this mode. Um, you will just make sure this is highlighted and you can duplicate from here. And you can duplicate as many pages as you want. I'm going to go to 10. Because when I use this in GoodNotes, I can also duplicate from there. So we're going we're gonna to be done here. <laughs> Sorry up here click slide view and this is what we have you can also number your pages if you wanted or however you want or add you know blanks and stuff like that but we're done I'm done from here so we're gonna so we're gonna press the three dots here and then we're gonna press export we're gonna export as a PDF because there are no hyperlinks or anything like that. Um, we want print backgrounds, print build, this is fine, and then just export. We're gonna share. Once we do that, we're gonna scroll down here and you're gonna open in GoodNotes. And then you're gonna import as new document wherever you want it. We're gonna go digital planning and I'm just gonna import to digital planning. And here's our notebook. I like it and then you have your ending and then just here let me just close all these pages here you can just type whatever you wanted um gratitude notebook you know and you can duplicate it from here and then you just write whatever you want not the perf not the best but you know for starters you have your own notebook that you created yourself so let me know down in the comments if you guys have any questions i am quick to respond to comments even if i've been gone for forever i've always tried to respond to all of you guys' questions so just let me know if you guys enjoyed the video please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to get notified when i upload next and yeah Thank you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.